everybody, it's your crazy fan girl Shime. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. So we are continuing with The Legend of Vox Machina Season 3, Episode 3. Oh, already it's been a great start to the season and we are moving on to the third episode. Love the second episode, love the first episode. So let's jump into this one. Remember to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And yeah, let's get started. We'll discover their location, I assure you. I seek bloodshed, not assurance. Are you withholding something? You're the one withholding my cure. That stone in your chest makes you paranoid. Oh, easy! Baragal, send word across the kingdoms. Anyone who delivers Vox Machina will get Raishan's share of our empire. Soon, my children, very soon, the corpses of our enemies shall be your cradles, and their eternal agony, your milk. Oh, what lines, my god! Okay, even if we go, how would we get there? Actually, we know a way. An old ally of ours. Allura. Dola? No way. That bitch wanted me dead. Oh, don't be dramatic. It's been years. <laughs> Ooh, keep it with the hot gas. Spill it, girl. Our... <laughs> we were just discussing, um... Uh... Canoes. I see. Well, if you want to update me on the, um, canoe situation, I'll be out for a bit. Smitten. Yes. So when one invites you to her room, you go. Yes, Percy. Oh, <laughs> oh my oh god, is it happening? Oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god, please, please, please. Oh my god, is this the part where she opens the door naked? Who is it? Uh, it's Percival. I was hoping. Oh my god! <laughs> it is! Of course. Oh my god, I, and there's Keyleth and Max. Oh my god. Um, yeah, Kill yeah. me now! Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, calm down, Jamie. Calm down, calm down. Whew. I forgive you. We can't you. be together. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't show any of this. <laughs> A future is clouded with misery. I saw it. The matron. Oh, Vax, it's okay. Even though it is heartbreaking. You're a romante. When you complete it. You think I don't know? Becoming the voice of the Tempest is a responsibility that lasts for centuries. You won't risk anything for me. That's not true. If you're too afraid to let me in, then maybe you should leave. If you had seen what I have. Just get out! Oh my god. Kiki, please. Oh my god. <laughs> it's such an emotional moment. Pleasure is a sex scene. <laughs> Good talk. <sighs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, new song? Oh, Something look at these like two. So cute. And, hey, no matter how bad you messed up with Kaylee, I'm here. Whoa! Oh, that's wow. what I meant. <laughs> shit, 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 Pike. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, Vax. Oh, he was staying outside her room the whole night. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was just a. Uh, um, I'm not. I, I mean... <laughs> oh my God! This show. <laughs> the teleport, so. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on! I need a second because holy shit, so much happened in like ten, not ten minutes, but like a couple of minutes. Jesus Christ! How dare they? Oh my God! We got nothing for two seasons, barely anything, and they got us in the first three episodes. Oh. Oh, your girl's like sweating right now. <laughs> oh my god. We got like everything. Oh my god, we got <laughs> Vex opening the door naked. Then we got Keyleth and Vax. Then, oh. then we got Scanlan and Pike. <gasps> <laughs> Shh. 
she'll meet us up ahead. <clears throat> Bunko will fuck up. <laughs> oh, look at Kaylin and Vax. Oh. Hey, Vax, she has a right to be upset. I get her. I've been in her position as well. <laughs> friends. It's a bit of a trek. Try not to fall behind. <laughs> How far could it be? I'm guessing very far. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. No one guards this gateway? It's well hidden. <clears throat> it takes more than one to open the gateway, and it can only be done from this side. So some of you need to stay. You'll need a lookout. Um, I should stay as well. If you think you'll help. We'll go through, find... <gasps> Jackets? This, the capital of hell. Oh, this, a rock. What are you on about? <laughs> what? Those souls? Yeah. Oh, wow. The evil of our world. I was a little nervous after how we left things. I mean, me and Allie getting together. Listen, I'm sorry if I hurt you. Aww. What are you talking about? Oh, um, didn't you have, like, feelings for me? Feelings? Kimo, we're adults. All these years, I haven't given it a single thought. <laughs> that is unfortunately how so. you have to deal with it. <laughs> yes, last night was fun. And? And I think I'll fix some tea. That's it? End of conversation? Shouldn't we talk about what that was? Call it a mistake. Call it whatever you want. I want to know what you want. Unless you're too scared to say it. Oh! oh. Sca I am not scared. I'm... Vex. Oh no. Oh you know no. Oh no. Ooh. Two okay? What the hell? You'll hear us. I'm checking on the others. Something you should be doing. <laughs> you all right down there? <laughs> the oh, oh, I love this show. Crossing... Yeah, I was gonna say, did maybe people of Draconia maybe tell, tell, or oh, somehow tell that dragon? Yes! Oh my god! Game. It has to be we actually because be they went and asked. It for our okay, now it makes sense. As if you care. The fuck? Of course we do. Forgive me, but you have a history of leaving allies there we in go. The dust. And yet when the time came for accolades, you two wound up on the council of Taldore, living in a fancy ivory tower. While I landed back here in the snow. Wait, Lorago will see. What are you doing? You sentenced us to death! Not us. You. The dragons have sworn to spare my people. And after I turn you over, they've promised me the power you stole. Oh, get her, Alora! I can smack her! <laughs> oh, look at the animation. It's so good. I hope he kills you first. So Kima can watch you die. <gasps> you bitch! Can you form one of those shields beneath us? Well, I'm not sure how that would. Oh! <laughs> oh my word! Yes, Alora! <laughs> oh my god, I love Kima and Alora. You can't oh no! Run from this. <gasps> Kima! Kima! Grown idiot! You should have finished them by now! What are you waiting for? I want to see blood! Kill him. Kill them. Oh. No! 
Oh, I mean, they deserved it, but they're such an idiot. They get you. know there's something between us. Everyone I've ever loved, it, it always ends badly. It's like I'm a bad omen. No, Vex. I'm willing to take that chance. Oh, the opposite! I care oh. about you. Which is why we can't be more than just a fling. Why? Oh. Right. Hmm. oh, Percy. As you like. Oh! Stop it! <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. I'm just gonna stay down here. Cry my eyes out. It's totally okay. <laughs> okay, it's okay. I'm just gonna sit here and cry. There's no way out, out of this cave, damn it. Not because it's easy, but because we must. For the ones we love. Mm. No matter what, we have to believe it's going to be all right. And if it isn't, then nothing matters. Is that it? Oh my god! Ah, damn! Why do they always end it when it gets good? The pain. Oh god, my lord almighty. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> this is that's what these three episodes are <laughs> oh my god okay so <laughs> oh okay 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 gotta calm gotta calm down <sighs> okay um that was absolutely amazing what a great three episodes to start on i love what they're doing with this season because i like that we had that build up from the past two seasons and smack bang now here we go let's like start all these relationships going or like these like love interests romance stuff actually properly and i love that so to start off with the first episode i love that we got like obviously how we were informed about like the first thing with Raishan, her sickness and how she wants to be cured and then she's saying like obviously we were enemies at one point but now she wants to be like sort of allies to try and get rid of the cinder king i love that and then obviously the whole thing with vax and keyless oh, i love them so much and just um i love that we move from that and then i love as well with him like he's trying to assure her that he's in her corner but then he also sees like a sacrifice needs to be made even though raishan did help get the cinder king out and destroy pyra it's like oh like like it's a necessary uh, like something that they need to do to trust her and like try and like save Iman and even like the rest of the world um they need to make that sacrifice um and then obviously we go to Marquette and I loved seeing Ripley again and Orthax oh my god like Orthax is so cool and interesting and so demonic like I, like even even though it was like described like that in like the, the like the actual sessions with Matt and the cast, but seeing it in animation is completely different. I love it so much. And then obviously seeing Gilmore, all that jazz, and then just that whole thing, story arc as well with Scanlan. I loved that too because I, I think that's definitely going to be a theme we're seeing this season with a certain event happening. I think it's going to happen this season. I think. Or it's going to happen next season. I don't want to spoil it just in case people who haven't watched um, the legend, not the legend, but the Vox Machina, like Dungeons and Dragons, like show. If you guys don't know what happens, I don't want to spoil it. But a certain event happens and some, yeah, just st stuff happens with Scalin and I think it might happen this season from what we've seen so far. But then, yeah, that whole thing with um, his daughter. And it's so sad because he is so, no offense, I'm just going to say it because he's so pathetic like in the early stages because he's such like a smart ass you know he's very much a ladies man sleeps around everything and then when it comes to being a father at the beginning he is trash and he doesn't know how to do it obviously he there's that anxiety of being a father i get that but also you know being absolutely drunk 
off your face and her giving him a chance. Oh, the str like that pain with her like crying. I was like, oh my God, girl, like, oh, I hate that so much. Um, and just, yeah, they wrote that so beautifully and very comedically as well, but also just so heartbreakingly. Like, I just, oh, like I got, I felt so much pain for her. I was like, girl, I'm so sorry. Um, and then the whole thing, with Percy, his story as well. Like, I love that we're getting everybody's story, especially with, like, the... Percy's one of my favourites, and obviously Vax, Keyleth, and Vex. But, like, with Percy... Like, I have a special love for Percy because, like, again, he's such an ass, but he's so lovable. Like, again, he feels all this guilt for not only, like, being so, like, like deep and, and fueled by his revenge in the first season, but also just in the act of making the gun, or like the pepper box, sorry, um, and just like seeing what it could do, it's just oh my god, and then him talking to Vex about that too and oh, Vex being so like no, I don't want you to die, I care about you and then it's like, yeah, oh, I love that going to this episode, third episode um, obviously we're given the mission to go to hell, oh it's gonna be so good, um, and I love the design for hell my god it's so unique because i was like how are they going to do it because we've seen so many already we've seen a lot of renditions of what hell looks like especially with Baldur's gate you know obviously it's a dozen dragons game so, so i was like how are they going to do it in this in the actual show it's going to be interesting so i love that we got that like vortex of souls and stuff it looks so cool um very very cool design and then <sighs> Just all the romance at once hit me so much. So starting off with Percy and Vex, let's talk about them. So like, oh, I love them so much because they're such a like power couple, but also just like, I love that there's that struggle, like him being so in love with her. Like you can tell he really does like her, but then with her, I think it takes, not that it takes a little bit more to love him. Like it's, it's not like that, that saying that people say, like he fell first and then she fell harder. Not that situation, but more like, like what she said, she's scared of the future and all that stuff. Very much like Vax as well, but Vax a little bit differently. But like with Vex, it's more like she feels like she's responsible for people's like like she's a bad omen because of her past. Like we saw that last season with the father feeling like she wasn't enough. She feels like maybe she's not enough for Percy and that maybe she'll bring him harm, which is so heartbreaking. It's like, girl, no, you're a badass bitch, girl. Don't do that. <laughs> but then we see as well with Vax, sort of that same struggle, but his struggle is with the matron and seeing these visions of death and pain and him seeing the stuff that happens with Keyleth and he's like, I don't want that to happen to her, but sadly it does anyway. Um, and, you know, and then her, I get her position so much because I won't lie, I've been in that position too where I've been like, oh, I care about you, you know, like, let's make this work and the other person's like, no, no. And I get her being very angry like that because it's such a like a sad thing because you know you both like each other and then one's like oh no I'm not gonna put like make that not sacrifice in terms of real life but like in their situations like make that sacrifice even though it'll end up in pain why not enjoy it for the moment why not be in the moment and enjoy it and be together and be happy and so that's why I understand her entirely and just oh Marisha I love Marisha, she's my queen. If she ever comes to Australia, I really want to like meet her and like give her a hug or shake her hand because she's just a badass. Um, and just her betraying that with um, Keyleth. Oh, Keyleth is more, like literally Keyleth is like me, like me when I was younger and even today. So I'm like, I love Keyleth with all my heart. I get where she's coming from. <laughs> and then also, <laughs> Vax and I. I no Vex not Vex bloody hell but the whole thing with Vex and Percy I did not think we'd see it because even though we've seen like sex scenes and stuff in this show I was like nah we'll probably see like a little bit not that not that much <laughs> it was saucy it was great loved that and then with Pike and Scanlan so I know a lot of people like who haven't watched the show um are very intrigued by their relationship like whether they get together whether they don't I love them because it's such for them, it's a massive build up for them. And I love that for them because especially with Scanlan's growth, because Scanlan needs to grow, especially with that moment that we saw in this episode where she touches his knee and he's immediately like, oh, I need to kiss her. It's like, no, no, no. Like, you don't need to do that. Like, 
if it was for love, but I think for him it was more like a sexual desire, so it's not the same as what Pike likes or like is into. So that's why even she was like, "Whoa, man! Like, no, 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 no! Like, I'm, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not ready for that." So like, I like, I love that we see that in the show. It's so good, and you wouldn't expect that from an animated show too. So, oh, absolute chef's kiss. And then also the whole stuff with Dola and um like the betrayal and then Kima and Allura. Oh, Allura is such a badass. I love her so much. And Kima, oh, they're such a power couple as well. But that whole thing, like even I was like, oh, they're being really chill about it. But in reality, they actually were very spiteful about that. Um, but not only that, I think again, it was also like not being rewarded for what they did, putting the Cindy King away. So Dola was like, I'm super angry about that. But also probably because of the whole thing that happened with Kima. So I loved all of that and dragons, of course, absolutely loved them. So like seeing the, the, that dragon again was so cool. And then again, Dola was such a fool because it's like, <laughs> where is their right to tell a dragon what to do? Like, are you insane? Like, I would be like, you do your thing, dude. I'm gonna just stand back and try and help you if I can. But no, of course. And then Allura trying to help even after what they did and betrayed like Alora and Akima, oh my god. I would have I wouldn't have done that, but she has a, a better heart than I do. <laughs> oh, but why leave it there? Oh my god. I'm so excited though for the next three episodes. I'm guessing it'll come out what's today? Thursday? Yeah, Thursday. So I'm guessing it'll come out next Thursday. Oh, it was so good. Whew! I loved it. I think it was last Thursday. Is it next is it Thursday today? Yes it is. Oh my god. I forgot. But oh my god, this show is just so good! Ugh, I'm, uh, it's, uh, I'm so glad it's back, and I'm so happy to be reacting to it again. It's so nice, and just, yeah. I'm super excited. Oh god, this episode. <laughs> I'm dying. Whew, that was great. Anyway, I'm gonna stop it here, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave your comments down below and on the upload episodes. What did you guys think? Um, and yeah. Really, really appreciate all the support always. And yeah, um, check back here next Thursday for more reactions for the next episode of Box Smoking Up. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys soon. Crazy Bango out. Woo!